Hello everyone. Since many of you use Node-RED on a Raspberry Pi, we've decided to do some content about Node-RED on the Raspberry Pi. In this video we will show how you can use the CPU node to monitor your CPU. This includes the usage and the temperature of the cores. To get started we need to install the CPU node. To do that you can go to Manage Palette, Install and type in CPU. Search for Node-RED Contrib CPU and click on Install. This may take a few seconds depending on your internet connection. Once it is installed you will find it under Performance. When double clicking on it we can see that there are four different modes. One that sends the overall CPU usage. Then a separate message for each core. My Raspberry Pi for example has four cores, so I will get four different messages. Then a single message with an array of the core usages. And a single message with the core temperature. In this example we use the single message for the overall usage and the single message for the temperature. The first step is to try it out using an inject and a debug node. We set the debug node to complete message object and try it out. So here we see that we get two messages. The first one has the topic overall. That's the current usage of the CPU in percent, which is 3.75. The second message is the temperature. In the payload we have the current temperature in degrees and in the max we have the highest value recorded since we started monitoring. Let's create a simple dashboard where we can see those values in a simple graph. So I've gone ahead and installed the dashboard nodes. We need two different charts. First we have to create our dashboard layout. We call our tab Raspberry Pi. and we create the group called CPU. We name the first chart usage. I want it to be a line chart and it should display the values of the last minute. We show the legend so we can see what's the name of our value and we add a blank label when there is no data available. We call the auto charge temperature and we apply the same settings as in the usage. Before we move on we will quickly have a look at our dashboard. As we can see we have both our charts and our blank label is displayed. So I would like to have the usage above the temperature, so I will go to the layout and lock those charts in place. If we look at the data in our debug, we can see that we have two messages that have different topics. And those topics need to go to different charts. In order to solve that, we can use a switch node. we take a closer look we see that we can actually use the topic to distinguish the data. So in the switch node we just use the msg.topic property. On the first output we will use overall and on the second one temperature. Now we can connect the outputs to the according chart. To try it out we use the timestamp two times and now you can see that both of our charts are working. If we go to the help tab of our CPU node we can see that such a CPU core usage is in fact the average usage since the previous calculation. Therefore the value will become more accurate when it is calculated more frequently. For example when a trigger message is put on the input port every second. So we do that by giving our inject node an interval of one second. As we can see, this is working as we expected. 
in the message with the topic temperature we also get the maximum so i think it would be pretty cool if our graph would display the payload and the maximum at the same time in order to do that we use a change node in which we can give a new topic title and move the maximum to the payload in the debug we can see that the max is actually outside of the payload in the change node we set the topic to max temp this is going to be the name of our value and then we move the msg.max to msg.payload if we connect that to our chart we can see that we have both the temperature and the maximum temperature in our dashboard that's it for this week's video i hope you enjoyed it and you could learn something